It's 2021. Tablets are still a thing. If it's not an iPad, and it's not a Samsung Galaxy tablet, then it's this. The Amazon Fire tablet. We're going to look at emulating some games on it again. Let's take a look. First things first, what you want to do is get the Play Store installed on your Fire tablet. Link in the description below and up in the corner here somewhere. Okay, so once you've done that, next step, get yourself a Bluetooth controller. You can use an Xbox One controller if you like. That's what I'm going for today. So I'll just quickly sync that here. So just switch it on. Hold down my sync button. That starts to flash. Drag down, go into Bluetooth and click on Bluetooth again. Pair new device, Xbox wireless controller, select that, pairing, we're good to go. Can now navigate the menus using the controller. First thing we're going to do is download some emulators. So if we go in the Play Store, I'm going to search for Moopin64. And what you will find here is M64 plus FZ emulator or Z. So we're going to install that, it's already done, we'll go into it and we'll fire up a game. And I'm not going to show you how to get ROMs, but let's just say I've got GoldenEye 007 here. So we click Start. And you will see that there's some controls on the screen, hopefully they'll just disappear in a moment. There we go. Awesome. There we go, so we are playing, oh I don't know what the controls are, <laughs> not that, there we go, we are playing Goldeneye and it's quite an enjoyable experience, oh it's a little bit difficult to aim but I'll get there in the end, now we're going to look at PSP emulation, so you go into the Play Store again, once that's loaded, just search for PSP and you'll find something called PPSSPP. So install that and then we'll jump right in right now. So again, not going to show you how to download ROMs or anything like that. We're just going to jump straight in with a bit of WRC. As you can see, the buttons are mapped in the right places, which is nice. We'll just go back and into the settings and turn off the controls. So to do that, we just go into graphic. Yeah, sorry, into settings, controls, move them off. Shouldn't need to change any other settings, but you can get the games to look a little bit nicer if you so wish. So I've just turned the volume off so I don't get a copyright strike. But here we go. WRC running rather nicely, if uh, you can cope with my terrible driving. But this, this runs particularly well. Don't know how to reverse. There we go, that'll do. Fantastic. Very playable, looks very nice. I haven't adjusted any settings other than removing the controls off the screen. I've gone the wrong way. <laughs> and again, this time we're going to look at some Saturn emulation, so we just go to the Play Store and we can literally search for Saturn emulator. Uh, you could have a capital A in there if you want. There is a free one called Yabba Sanshiro 2 Free. I'm going to use that one today, so we'll jump in. And once we're in there we've got our ROMs, which again I'm not going to show you how to get. We can just go in and play. Volume down again so that I don't get a copyright strike. But here we have Sega Rally. Let's see what this looks like. There we go, Sega Rally. I did have to change the controls again, but you can remap them and you can make it so that you can just use the analog controls here. So there's a few glitches, graphical glitches going on here, but it's still definitely playable. Um, you can mess about with the settings a little bit to try and make the experience a little bit better but to be fair this is pretty good 
So now let's say you want to go really old school and you want to look at a 16-bit system like the SNES. So if we go into the Play Store and search for SNES, you will find an emulator pretty much straight away. So we're going to use the top one, which is SNES 9X X+. And here we have Super Mario Brothers on the SNES, which will run absolutely flawlessly. Uh, as you would kind of expect on a modern bit of hardware such as the Fire tablet. Again, no audio because I don't want a copyright strike. But as you can see, definitely playable. Really good fun. Absolute classic. So as long as you can get a hold of the ROM, as long as you own the original in some way, shape or form, then you are good to go. That's it for today's video. Thank you for watching. If you want to see me demonstrate any games that I didn't try out on this video on the Fire Tablet, please do let me know in the comments. I do try and read all of the comments on my videos, so if you put your comments below, chances are I'll read it and probably respond. Thanks for watching. If you've not yet subscribed, please do so, and I'll see you in the next one.